Hey everybody, Callie here from the Ontario SPCA and I'm joined by my pal Amanda. She is all the way out at our SD&G Animal Centre which is in Cornwall. Hey Amanda, how are you? I want to uh, briefly just let everybody know a bit about you. So, you know, how long have you been with the organization and, and what got you into this line of work? Okay, so ever since I was a young girl, I've always had a passion for animals. Um, we've always had dogs growing up, so it was something that was always part of me. Um, before heading off to college, I was able to do a summer placement at the center, and that definitely got me into it. I'm like, yeah, I want to get into going for the vet assistant, so I did that. And uh, once I came back from the vet assistant program, I got hired on pretty much right away. And it's going to be 15 years that I've been here. So it's that's a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amazing. That's so yeah. great. And knowing that you have that uh, background as a vet assistant, um, obviously, you know, not only, of course, makes you very qualified, but, you know, it definitely gives you um, a different lens to look at things with, which I think is really great. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, things are, have been a little bit different this year. I mean, 2020 does not look the way we thought it was going to. Um, mm, but yeah. <laughs> how are things going at the center? It's moving along now that the virtual adoptions have officially rolled out. Um, a lot of people are eager and excited to uh, start adopting. Um, the paperwork has been going out. A lot of uh, requests are coming in. So it's fantastic. It's great. That's awesome. And I know it'll be very rewarding for you and all the staff, um, you know, at the Cornwall Center uh, to see these animals find their loving forever homes. And of course, um, you know, their time, you know, where we were closed due to COVID-19. Uh, I know that you guys have really been working very hard with the animals as well. Is that right? Yeah, so we grew a bond with them. Um, but it, it's, it's time. They, they need their forever homes. and It's going to be so rewarding to see them go. That's awesome. Any particular animals during this time, Amanda, that have uh, really touched your heart? There's been a couple, a couple dogs that we worked with, um, especially one that was a little timid at first. Um, he needed some time and, and we, he adjusted eventually to a couple of us. He still needed some work with others, but you know, there's, it's, that's my passion is working with those animals, the ones that are more timid that need that extra time. That's my, my go-to thing. So and that's why we love you, Amanda. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's really appreciated. I think that, um, you know, knowing that the staff like yourself have been going in, um, you know, every single day during this difficult time, caring for those animals because they do, they need that extra love. They do. Um, yeah. And you guys have been doing that. And, and I think that's really the root of what makes this organization what it is. And I think it really um, showcases and how amazing and dedicated our staff truly are. Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody has to be here for them. So they, they need us as much as we need them. So, Well, keep on smiling, Amanda. I want you to say a big hello to everybody at the Cornwall Centre for me. Um, we're cheering you on and keep doing that amazing work. Thank you, and I will. Thanks so much, Amanda. Bye.